This is my new gaming PC that I just barely built. Some would say dream gaming PC, I would say so. Let's go back to when it was just a bunch of little baby parts. The parts of this PC build are all reused for my precious PC, minus the case. So let's start there. It's the Cooler Master NR200P Max version. This case is pretty pricey, but it does come with a 280mm AIO and an 850 watt SFX gold rated power supply, and it's in this dope dark gray colorway. The CPU is this Ryzen 9 5900X. It's a beastly 12 core processor with a base speed of 3.7 gigahertz and a boost speed of 4.8 gigahertz. Not the newest, but I'm content with what I have and I really don't need the newest. For the motherboard, I'm going with this Asus ROG Strix B550i Gaming. For the RAM, I'm going with this 32 gigabyte kit from V-Color with a really cool mirrored finish and it's at 3600 megahertz. For storage, I'm keeping it nice and simple with two M.2 SSDs. One is a two terabyte Gen 3 drive and the other is a one terabyte Gen 4 drive. The 2TB is used for games and the 1TB is just a boot drive. And last but not least is a part that separates a normal PC from a gaming PC, the GPU. I'm using the EVGA RTX 3080 for the Win 3 edition. It has 10GB of VRAM, not the 12GB version, but I should still be able to clap some kids in Apex and I've also been really wanting to play Warzone 2.0. Now the final part is a new Windows key. I'm finally making the switch over to Windows 11, and thanks to today's video sponsor, I can do that with no effort. If you guys also need a Windows key, then head down below and visit Super CDK. They have Windows 10 and Windows 11 key. Once you add the key to your cart, be sure to use a discount code SPLA to save on that sweet, sweet green. To activate the key, you just simply copy and then paste it into your window activation settings click activate and bam, legit Windows key for the love. Let's get to building my dream gaming PC. Ladies and gents, the computer is completely built. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works. I mean, why wouldn't it work? It's not like any of my computers haven't worked before. We got the power cable plugged in and the display port cable and the power button. Bam. Ooh, GPU lights up right away. Looking beautiful. Come on, RAM. So, okay, there we go. Monitor. Looks like we're getting a poke. There we go, baby. I definitely have had a few computers not work before. As I said in the beginning of the video, I am going to be upgrading to Windows 11 and finally trying it out. So let's go ahead and upgrade to Windows 11 and then we'll test this thing out. Actually, before we do that though, let's do something about this case. Yes, I love the gray color. It looks really sick. I've been contemplating this for a few days now. Let's go ahead and sticker bomb the front of the case. I started reselling clothes as like a side hustle. <laughs> and with all of my orders, I give free stickers. So I have been collecting a lot of really cool stickers that I like that I've been saving for this project. I'll show a couple of them. I got this really cool like Supreme one. Good old Snickers sticker. Good old Rigby. Do you guys watch regular show? I love that show. Here's a pretty sick SpongeBob one and then a Harley Davidson one. And I got a lot more so I definitely have enough to sticker bomb the front of the case. Let's get to sticking. Sticker bombing is done. In my opinion, it turned out sick as hell and I'm really happy I did it. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. This PC case is really cool. Despite my awesome sticker bombing, it comes with a tempered glass side panel, 
or a vented one for better airflow, but for now I'm going to rock the glass side panel for the aesthetics. The GPU just looks so cool. I said I wanted to play Apex and Warzone 2.0 and that is exactly what I did. I tested Apex at 1440p with all max settings and it got an average FPS of 184 and I also tested it with low to high settings and it got an average FPS of 220. I tested Warzone 2.0 at 1440p with the settings set to the extreme preset and got an average FPS of 101. Then I tested it with it set to the basic preset and it got an average FPS of 159. That was my first ever time playing Warzone 2.0. I did pretty good and the game looks amazing. Well guys, I'm gonna keep on playing games. In the meantime, if you did enjoy this video, smash that like, watch my next video here, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.